Hi, welcome. Well, today we're going to have a look at some of the abandoned hotels of Cyprus and its surrounding areas. And the first today is the MacArthur Hotel at St George's Bay. A hotel with an absolutely beautiful view in a fabulous location, but abandoned. So let's have a look around together, see what we can see. So as you can see, if you look on the balconies there, it looks like, oh, it's been recently abandoned. Well, to my knowledge, this place has been empty for a, a good 20 years-ish. See in its heyday it was a lovely hotel, still furniture, chairs and tablecloths inside. Obviously the restaurant area. is a shame and again why it was closed I don't know often in Cyprus it's uh, disputes in family members somebody passes away and then unfortunately the family members all fall out about ownership and uh, what they're going to do with the place and uh, it falls into disrepair as you can see although it looks like it's got the tables, but if you look at the curtains here, they're all torn and moths. It's all traditional chairs and everything as well, isn't it? Chrysalises everywhere. Yeah. Such a shame. Over the road there, you can see some of the archaeological sites for St George's. Not a huge amount to see, but of course down there is the sea and the beach and some cafes and restaurants down there so it was in a, a secluded private spot completely overgrown but it will be after all these years reception area old-fashioned television in there Bit of a time freeze really, old fashioned furniture. See, to my knowledge it's 20 years but it, it could be a lot longer. If you actually stayed at this hotel at any point, please comment below, what was it like? Does anyone know why it closed? It's such a shame. Tennis carts and basket and uh, basketball hoops, snack bar, sun terrace, and a of course empty swimming pool. So, what's the snack bar area for the pool? Don't want to fall in that. Not now it's empty, it's deep. It's a, well, such a shame. Let me just put my table over there so that will lead down into the depths of the pump rooms and things like that. So as I say if anyone knows why the MacArthur Hotel in St George is closed down please comment below and if you've stayed here in the past tell me about it. On to the next.
So here we are at another of the abandoned hotels of Cyprus. This one is definitely abandoned. Again, it's been like this for way over 20 years. So you, you probably can't see it, but it's there somewhere and in amongst all that vegetation. So we can't really get very close. It's all fenced off. Let's see what we can do. The name of the hotel. Mm. Mel something, Malaysia. Don't know. I can't see the sign because the palm trees have grown over the heights of it. You can see everything. This is the entrance road. It's completely overgrown. Can't get close. Can't get near. So this hotel is located in Paya. In fact, it's on the Paya Coral Bay border. You can see somebody's actually broken in there. Um, windows have gone, patio doors been open, forced open. And who knows, looks like some of the electrics has been taken out. It wasn't so long ago that it wasn't as overgrown. And again, you could see curtains up at the windows and lamps upon the... But over the years, I suppose, slowly it's been vandalized. People have broken in, stolen things, unfortunately, it's the way of the world nowadays, everywhere in the world again, that patio door's been forced open. I'm certainly not climbing through all the vegetation to uh, have a look inside. I believe there used to be a roof terrace on here. If you've stayed in this hotel in the past, please let me know what it was like if you know why it's closed again I would guess family disputes inheritance no good to anybody empty such a shame yeah people have been definitely been in it those patio doors are open to say it wasn't maybe 10 years ago you'd see light shades and things in the windows curtains drawn but uh, it certainly hasn't been open for business for a long long time what was the main entrance and the uh, road flagpoles here so overgrown see the trees are around it can't actually get too close to it uh, mounds here again views from this hotel across to the uh, bay there at Kisoniga And I would guess this property wasn't built when this hotel was built. And a gorge down in uh, Impaya. Oh yes. <laughs> Not easy. I think see some of the bedrooms you can see the circular poles and jacuzzis and things down there would have been a beautiful hotel in a very nice spot and an easy walk into Coral Bay oh there we go This of course is a closed hotel, not abandoned. It's closed, it closed due to the pandemic and it's not reopened as yet. We'll have a look up there in a minute.
Thalassa Hotel in Coral Bay. Not abandoned, there's actually security guards looking at the place, but this is a closed down hotel. Again, it, it closed with the pandemic and not reopened. And it's uh, starting to show signs of deterioration. I would have a better walk around, but unfortunately, that security guard probably won't let me. It has a spectacular view. And probably one of the best views of Coral Bay. So this hotel did overlook Coral Bay. Don't know why it's been left closed. Probably repossessed by the bank. Due to the pandemic, financial constraints. Probably wouldn't cost more than a few million to uh, get up and running again. And again, it's got a view at to the front of the hotel, across Coral Bay. And at the back of the hotel, it's got a view over the neighbouring bay. So effectively all rooms would have been sea view. Again, there is a small museum and a uh, archaeological site on here. Where as you can see for this hotel, although it's not abandoned, it is closed. Such a shame. See there on the what would obviously be the bars and the restaurants, the sun awnings are all down and torn and ripped. But there's curtains up all the rooms still. Again from the it supposes the back of the hotel could be the front of the hotel. Everywhere's got a sea view and very nice view. And the archaeological site. There are security guards, so uh, can't get it. You want to, to come to an archaeological site in Coral Bay? This is one here. Open Monday to Sunday, now 30 till 5. I have been in, there's not very much to see in there. And as you can see, all the other hotels are fully functioning. Beaches are very quiet down there. So, a closed hotel, Coral Bay. Probably for sale if you've got 60 or 70 or 100 million euros spare I think it would be that price due to its location and as I say don't know why it's closed but it has been from the beginning of the pandemic onward so Crown Horizon Resort Hotel closed hello hello, hello sir how are you I'm very well thank you Come another uh, month. It's so it's beautiful. Now you cutting trees. <laughs> what I do? <laughs> no problem. You are from England? Yes. So we've just been reliably informed that this hotel is going to 
reopen after they've completely refurbished it. Again, it's in a lovely position right in the middle of Coral Bay, Crown Horizon Resort. It was a four star all inclusive resort hotel, inside heated swimming pools, outside pools, gym, uh, all you would expect from a four star resort hotel. So, this is a little amphitheatre, they used to do entertainment and stuff down here uh, on an evening. They do kids' shows and uh, adult shows later on, singers and dancers. As you can see, a little bit overgrown. It's been closed basically again from the pandemic. It was repossessed by the bank and it has re been sold to another large hotel group. And so, hopefully, it's going to be opening again at some point. Again, the grounds to the hotel. Very large, I don't know, five, six hundred room hotel. The hotel's kids' play area. This was all sunbathing and sun terraces. I don't want the uh, security guard catching me again, but uh, one of the swimming pools, the outside swimming pool there. Uh, big free form swimming pool goes all the way around. And there's a similar block to this at the back of this hotel, so possibly two, two swimming pools. No, nope, security guards after me now. So, oh. <laughs> away we go. Leggy. <laughs> Obviously, the front of people breaking into these places and effectively looting them. So, the Crown Horizon Hotel, Coral Bay, closed, but possibly to possible that it may reopen shortly. We shall see. So here we have another closed hotel, but this one, unlike the others, is right in the middle of Catapathos. And this is the three star Aloe Hotel. This has been closed again. It closed a pandemic, never reopened. Assume the bank took it. Again, because it's in the middle of Catapathos. There will be security, it's all chained off. Hopefully someone will buy it, a large three-star hotel in the middle of Catapathos. very popular now one day it'll probably reopen what they might do is put another couple of uh, stories on top of it who knows such a shame I know this hotel very well and of course previously it used to have clear views to the sea which is, which is straight down to the beach there to Sodat Beach but uh, this five star adult only resort hotel bought the land in front and built 